Before this interview ends, is there anything else you were not asked? Fans want to know? People want to know? Is there anything you want to address while you're here? Anything else you didn't get a chance to mention you'd like to mention now? Oh. Uh... Uh, I guess I should tell you, we got a new album on the way. It's called I'm Back. Be looking for that real soon. There's going to be nothing but bangers on there, slaps. Uh, I think it's uh, mainly produced by my boy Da Vinci. There's a couple of other producers on there. But, yeah, be looking for that. That shit finna be hard as fuck. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to be happy. I've been enjoying life and just trying to do more shows, man. Book us or some shit. That's what I want y'all to know. Book us in your city for a show. Come book us. <laughs> are you able to share the title? Excuse me. Are you able to share the title's meaning? I'm back. Yes. All right. Yeah. I'm back. It's like basically inspired. Like I don't know if you remember, but like Michael Jordan returning to the league after his retirement, he came back with the four five and you know the whole thing with the facts and shit like that. So I basically got inspired off of that, and I felt like it was my return back to being independent type shit, so, like, it's like I'm back with that, and I'm Jordan, I feel like I'm Jordan in my own right, you know what I'm saying, as far as, like, the raps, like, I don't think anybody fucking with me, I feel like I might be one of the greatest of all time, other than, like, the ones who came before me, which I gotta pay homage to, you know what I'm saying, but I'm, I'm now, you feel me, so. Is this particular title something you personally came up with, or someone coined for you? I came up with it, but like I, like I said, it was inspired off of, you know, the Michael Jordan, like I'm back shit and stuff like that, so. And speaking of Michael Jordan, do you know him personally by any chance? Never met him. Never met him. I used to have a life-size cutout of him, like when I was a little jit. Like it was in my, uh, we used to stay on 58. I had one in my room when I was like five or some shit like that. And what was it about Mike that drew you to him? He was the greatest. Are you kidding me, bro? Like, I don't know. Like, it's the, the the game, the fucking shoe. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the the uh, the persona, nigga. Like, all that shit, bro. Jordan was, he was the first black superhero, bro. Like, the first black real superhero, bro. Like, that was Michael Jordan, bro. Like, I remember growing up and, like, watching the games with my dad, like, late at night and shit like that, bro. I don't know, bro. Like, he was just inspiring. And then, like, he let, he retired and then came back and then won three more championships. Not, but they was all back-to-back, -back, though. Like, he did 91, 92, 93. Retired. It was like, yo, my dad got killed. Need some time. I'm finna go play some baseball on y'all ass. Some golf. Feel me? Go bet with these niggas. Make some money real quick. He was like, fuck it, man. I'm back in this shit. Like, came back. Then won three more championships on y'all ass and retired again. And didn't he come back after that? Didn't he play for the Wizards? Was, did he retire after that? Or I don't know. Like, But, yeah, Michael Jordan the coach. Did you ever pay attention to any of those baseball games? You obviously watched them on television playing basketball, but. No, nah, I heard he sucked ass. Uh, it's cool. I know he came and played in Chattanooga before, though. I know he did play at the Lookout Stadium or whatever like that, and that was interesting. But I heard he sucked ass as a baseball player, so it wasn't really too much for me to go back and look at, or that I was trying to go back and look at. I want to remember you for the greatness, like the basketball. I don't want to see you being subpar at baseball. You watched him on television. Did you ever catch him live in, a, in an actual basketball game? Not him. I mean, like, because, like, you got to think. I mean, I think my dad did take me to go to a Bulls game, like, one time when I was really young, but I don't remember it like that. All I remember is the phone finger. I don't even know who was playing. You know what I mean? And, uh, I don't know. I, I Like, as I got older, I started going to more games, and I was able to see people like Kobe or LeBron James and, like, shit like that. But I don't, I don't recall the time I got to see Jordan, you know. And speaking of Kobe and LeBron, there may be some dueling it out, watching this, listening to this, yeah. in the comments section of you calling Michael Jordan the greatest, I when they it. might be defending Kobe or LeBron. I mean, all right, this what, before we get into that conversation, this the whole thing. If you the first to do something, by default, that I already put you in a different category. If you don't believe me, go look at all the rappers from the 90s and then tell me what they doing now. They got like some kind of like invisibleness about them, like type shit to where they can like 
be like a chameleon and like move how they need to move, right? You know what I'm saying? So with that, yeah, I feel like he was the greatest of his time and like everything before that, like for what he did and how innovative he was to the game, Michael Jordan is the greatest. You can't, like we can talk about Kobe, he great in his own right, but that nigga went to Michael Jordan University and he had got a degree in ankle breaking for Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? Like, learned all his moves, like the fade away, like nigga used to even bite his tongue like Michael Jordan, you know what I'm saying? And then LeBron James is LeBron, but I don't feel like it would be no LeBron without a Kobe Bryant and, you know, a Michael Jordan. Anything else, and not just on Michael Jordan or on back, but generally speaking here? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, Any loose ends you want to tie from this interview with the previous topics you were asked? Anything you failed to speak on? Anything that needs further clarification from what was said in this interview? No, oh, just love. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for taking time out y'all busy schedule to listen to what I, whatever I got to say. I don't even know if it's you know worth listening to, but y'all listening, and I appreciate y'all. Appreciate the love. New music coming on the way. Let's get this money. <laughs>